Today in this video, we will be spinning a wheel that will decide which weapons, armors, and accessories we will be using to fight Terraria bosses. The last video, you guys got it to the 2000 like goal for the next episode. Let's do 3000 if you're trying to see a part three. Yeah, we're starting this episode off with the old ones army, tier one old ones army. And as you can see, there's some interesting weapons on here. Let's go ahead. Let's take the wheel for a spin. Let's see what we get. Uh, weapons in quotes here. Some of these aren't exactly weapons. Ooh. I kind of mess with this one. It is the old one's army, so having a sentry could work out. We got the Houndiest Shootiest, which I think that's what it's called. It's the uh, weapon from the Don't Starve update. Low key, I would have preferred a mine cart, maybe even a golf cart, because, you know, big wave, you know, I could crash into all of them. But yeah, let's see what armor we get. All right, we got some decent armor choices here. I would hope for a summoner one just to have the little extra damage. It doesn't matter too much. Ooh. We're going to end up getting the Hellstone one, which will give us at least the most defense out of all of these, I believe. So that might be a nice little combo. No extra damage, though. And boom, bada, bing. Here's our accessories as a suggestion from some of you guys in the comments. Uh, some people said we should add in a difficulty wheel, but like, I feel like, say if I get like even some decent gear on Massacre mode, that still might not work for some of the future bosses and stuff. So the difficulty wheel we're going to hold out on maybe in like a spinoff of this series will do. But like, I would have to make some of the wheels at least average and not below average because imagine if i got like the mole mine card against the master mode tier one old one army like i'm getting my ass beat plain and simple but yeah let's go ahead let's spin the accessory wheel by default i will be giving myself uh, r uh running boots herpes herpes <laughs> i will be giving myself hermes boots uh by default for every single character that we use for this but our accessory today gives us an extra summon slot beautiful so useful right <laughs> All right, I'm starting to think about this. This is not going to go as, as well as I thought. We literally have one summon, I think, or one sentry. Uh, we'll try our best here. I don't have a lot of faith. I don't think this uses Ethereum mana. Oh, my God. The portal's all the way over there. That's not what I expected. So, like, I, I really don't know what to do. <laughs> I guess we can start it. Oh, my God. And it's so slow. <laughs> I didn't know it was this slow. I have never used this weapon before. I know it looked cool. Wow, this is an L. This is an L. Not a great way to start a video. Oh, I'm in God mode, my bad. Not a good way to start a video. Uh, maybe if I put that thing right there, maybe it'll help out a little bit. I don't know. I kind of wish that the uh, molten armor, you know, set things on fire when they got hit. That would help. Maybe I could use that to advantage. But there you go. First event or first boss whatever you want to call it already took a l off to a great start here all right so next up is skeletron we got some decent weapons here uh the only one that would probably be hard is the minecart and i got the coffin minecart because you know if we get the minecart we might pretty much be dead so when i get a coffin ready let's see what happens though let's see what we get i'm hoping for a ranged weapon i'm not hoping for a melee weapon oh god <laughs> oh Hey, we got lucky there. We got the Pumatic Horn, which is another Don't Starve weapon. We got just like a Don't Starve episode building up, huh? I will take that over the true melee, honestly. I switched up a couple of the armors. Not too much here, though. Let's see what happens. There's some pretty bad ones on here. I hope I don't get them. Oh, God. And then the wheel is like, hey, let's go straight to one of the bad ones. So you may be like, is that the ninja armor set? No, that's just the G, the G, however you pronounce it. It's literally just like a ninja armor set minus boots and helmet and a set bonus. <laughs> that was like one of the worst next to the snow armor. But, you know. I, I'm being punished today. So the accessories are pretty much all the same. No, they are exactly all the same. I'll take anything, maybe except for the stool and the pygmy necklace. Oh, fledgling wings. Those won't be too bad for mobility. I'll take it. All right, let's get it. Uh, You know what? I think it's only right that I give myself an iron skin and a swiftness here. Just because I got a solid four defense. Uh, and I think it'll help out just a little bit, you know, especially after the last fight that we had where i was not rocking too much in terms of uh you know gear or even possibility of winning so the pumatic horn is actually a very unique weapon it says it converts bullets into random stuff and i believe each object it shoots does like a different amount of damage as you can see and that's kind of like really unique it reminds me of the uh, gray zappinator honestly and how unique the gray zappinator is and how fun of a weapon it is. Let me make sure I'm not in god mode. No, I'm not in god mode. I did get hit earlier. I was about to say. I felt like I should have got hit by his hand a second ago. But I think he just missed me. Terrible aim, I know. 
But yeah, this is a unique weapon. I can see myself using this in like a playthrough. Like I've always thought it'd be interesting to do like a full gray Zappinator playthrough. Just because like that weapon is a legit a weapon you can use from beginning to end just because of its unique properties and how it works. But this is not going too bad. The Pumatic Horn is definitely going on like a top 10 pre-hard mode weapon this after this. Right next to the gray Zappinator. Because the damage this thing is putting out is honestly insane. Combine this with like an actual ranged armor set and not the gi. The gi is still not bad though. Look at the gi. 4 defense, 5% increased damage, and crit strike, 10% increased mana move. It's not bad. It really isn't that bad. But compared to some of the other stuff I could have gotten, it was definitely one of the worst options. But that was easy as hell. What the heck? <laughs> that was a breeze. Hey, shout out Chippy and his couch. I'm sitting on your couch. All right, we're here. Boom, just threw a couple of new weapons on, and we're gonna be taking another Don't Starve related thing on, the Deer Clops. Haven't fought the Deer Clops since like the release of that update. So, you know, this could be a tough matchup for me. Not too many bad weapons on here besides like the explosive rod, because you know, that's usually a tougher weapon to use, especially the non-upgraded version. But honestly, I'll take anything but the explosive rod please okay we're good explosive rod nowhere near us we are fine we're getting the sun fury for the content i would have wanted the bunnies and the explosive rod i'm not gonna lie that would have been good content all right armor sets here uh there's like two two of them that i wouldn't really like these two right here next to each other since they're next to each other uh maybe i won't get any of them which would be honestly amazing Thank God, nowhere near them. We got a mage armor set. That's not gonna help us too much in terms of damage. It's all good, I'll take it. The accessories, you know, I pretty much, I'm keeping them the same most of the time because like the pre-hard mode accessories aren't as impactful as hard mode accessories or there's not as much variety in my opinion. So I don't really care. Please don't give me. What is up with them and give me this damn necklace when there's not even some? Mm -hmm. All right, we're here. We got our beautiful setup. Let's see if we can take on the deer clops. Oh god, he spawned down there. Can he get up here? I hope he can. He's purple. Doesn't that like mean something when he's purple? For like standing above him? Or he's immune? I don't know. God damn. This does not look like this is gonna be a great fight. Wait, hold up. Did I buff up? I was not paying attention. So yeah, I know he's got like special attacks if you stand above him. So like standing above him can be dangerous. Standing next to him is also very dangerous. Uh, again, not a lot of experience against this guy. That was a pretty good dodge right there. Not a lot of experience against this guy. So the fight can either go terrible or it could go great. We do have a decent weapon to use here. So that's probably going to help us out a lot. How the hell do you dodge that? Oh, that was, that was a pretty good dodge right there. I'm not going to lie. I think for the most of it, we are just going to just tank shots and hope for the best. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's use our potion. Honestly, should save us. If we got a melee armor set, like low key, we'd be able to tank everything from him. Tank every hit from him, and on top of that, even do damage to him. What if I just, you know, drop the flail, let him run into it? Go ahead, run into that. It's not bad. I, I think I'd rather just do my attack over and over again, though. Damn, that boy got aim. He he knows where I'm at at all times. For having one eyeball, he's very perceptive of my next move. So I, I definitely give him uh, props to that. That's very impressive. Yeah, this is actually not going too bad. We have another heal coming up. This is looking like a very easy W. Flails in 1.4 are extremely strong. So like it really is understandable that this flail carried us. And honestly, the defense from the jungle armor set was more than enough to help out there. He also dropped the weather pane, very cool weapon. But shout out the defense from the jungle set, you know, giving us enough defense. Did I even use my potions? I completely forgot to use them. All good, didn't need them. But shout out the real MVP, the Sun Fury, 64 damage. And that's without wearing any melee accessories or armor or having any buffs, that's crazy. All right, the wall of flesh, let's get to it. We got some decent weapons on here. As you can see, we got a hard mode weapon on here. You know, might as well throw a fun little hard mode weapon on there. You know, cap shield. Let's see if we get it or let's see if we get something impossible to use. I don't know. Some of these can be great. Some of these can be bad. Hey, I am perfectly fine with the whip. Whips are great, but I'm hoping and praying that we can combine this whip with the whip armor. You know, the whip armor has shown up a couple of times on here. The obsidian armor that is. Come on. Come on. <gasps> oh my God. 
go. We were so close to greatness. We were so close to greatness. It's still fine. This is still a decent overset. As you can see, I have changed one accessory in here. I replaced the stool because we were supposed to get the stool at some point as a funny meme, but instead we got the pygmy necklace as a funny meme. Cobalt shield. I mean, I guess that, that could help out. I would have rather, you know, the feral claws, uh, literally anything but the pygmy necklace. You know what? I shouldn't be complaining. All right, let's, uh, let's see how this goes, okay? I have no idea. Let's see how it goes. Whips are decent when you combine them with the armor, but uh, they can be a little bit worse, obviously, by themselves. But I think we're going to have a good time here. Like, I don't even think I need a buff. The wild flesh in normal is probably one of the easier normal variant bosses, the golem. Uh, because, like, the main thing about the wild flesh in any other difficulty is that speed. When the wall of flesh got that speed, things can be dangerous. Like, that speed has me panicking because I'm being pushed towards the end of my arena. But when you really take out that speed, not too scary of a fight. I'm going to go ahead and let's buff up here just to be extra safe. So I think we're chilling. Yo, is that a cascade? A cascade low-key might have been nicer than a uh, whip, if I'm being 100% honest. I wonder if I can hit, like, multiple pieces of them at the same time. I'm trying to hit his mouth and his bottom eye at the same time. It kind of works. Like, I, I'm getting the right angle sometimes. It really, it really depends if his uh, mouth lowers to his other eye. You know, got that perfect range in between where I can hit both. Let's go ahead. Let's uh, go in for the kill here and start trying to hit both eyes at once. Because our health is getting a little bit low. He's starting to shoot out a lot more lasers. So I think it's about time we finish this off. Getting a little bit closer than I'd like it to be, though. Look, he got me to half health. Could have been dangerous, and I had a while for another potion. But there you go. We have done all pre-armored bosses, except for the eater. You know what? Let's do the eater, just because, you know, I feel like he's going to feel left out if I don't include him. All right, for the eater, obviously, we got some weaker weapons here. I'm fine with most of these weapons. Wouldn't really care too much. Let's see what we get. We get the sand gun. All right, that's going to be a little messy. Uh, I kind of wish I got the landmine. That is a hard mode of weapon, uh, technically. It's sold in hard mode, but I feel like it would have been funny to use, but I'm fine with the sand gun. Obviously, the armor's a little bit weaker, too. Let's see what we get in terms of those. I'll, I, I don't know. If I'll take anything okay I guess that's what we're taking I don't really get a choice in the matter at least we didn't get the the moon lord feet now that I am thinking about it though the moon lord feet does give you a little speed buff and gives you four defense it's not terrible definitely worse things we got the frail claws what weapon did I get I got the sand gun so like this is not gonna help at all all right let's do it eat our worlds as you can see we got the uh the previous death I took against the uh brain chilling here oh that is not how I expected that to work Oh, it doesn't go through platforms. Huh, I never knew that about the sand gun. As you can see, I use it so often. My bad, I'm in God mode. Let me take a hit or two because I deserve it. All right, let's let's uh, let's get to serious business here. I want him. Yeah, there we go. Come up here where I can easily hit you. The good thing about the eater is it does heal us a lot. The brain of Cthulhu also does that too, but obviously that didn't help us in our previous fight against the brain. I am taking some damage right now. A lot of it. That really hurt. Yeah, the uh, fact that I can't shoot through platforms is not helpful at all. But this is a fairly strong weapon, so I, I gotta really, really be careful here. I didn't give myself a grappling hook on this character. This is a separate character from the other character I was using that has lower health, because I feel like you probably wouldn't fight the eater at 400 health. You know what? I need to get to the top platform. You know what? Let's build up like it's Fortnite. Oh, God. I was gonna try and build up like it's Fortnite and get the hell out of here. Oh, man. I, I just I just inserted dominance right there. I don't know why I said inserted. I meant to say asserted. I didn't insert anything into anyone. All right. I'm, I'm liking the high ground though. The high ground is helping. You know, Obi Wan Kenobi was right about the high ground. That's why he fucked up Anakin Skywalker. But yeah, as you can see, the sand gun it makes a little bit of a mess. You know, probably wouldn't want to use this in a regular playthrough just because of the mess it makes. But god damn, is it doing damage. Hold up. Gotta build up. Gotta build up. So I can get over him without taking any damage. Grab these hearts while I'm at it. I'm building back up. I like fighting up here. There was a lot more room up here. Or at least it felt like it. We're low-key running out of room because, you know, more and more sand is stacking up. I know it's usually a lot easier to fight the eater underground. Uh, in most cases, especially like later difficulties. If you play on like expert uh, for the worthy. Well, more of just like the expert edition where it spits on you. You know, that spit can get like stuck on the walls underground. But, uh, you know, fighting normal eater isn't too bad. 
don't have to worry about getting spit on. There's a lot more area for him to uh, hit us from. Well, I don't know. There's a lot more area for us to juke too. But in terms of my like weapons and stuff right now, you know, it's not too much easier because I am like getting rid of all the space I have to juke by shooting this damn sand gun. It's still working out though. You know, I did get a little scared earlier in the fight where he was beating my ass. He was putting a combo on me. But now I definitely feel like I am the the alpha predator here. I don't like using that word. I am the alpha animal in the food chain. Uh, I'm not going to eat the eater, though. He looks kind of nasty to eat. I don't know. Go ahead and do that high ground strat. Oh, he knocked me off of the high ground. Smart. Very smart move. But I'm just going to go right back up. I knocked myself off that time. It's all good. Because the fight is pretty much over. I'm coming to the low ground to finish him off. Just to show that the high ground was not needed. I could beat him anywhere. Low ground, high ground you can get your ass beat and i'm gonna go ahead and kill him with the cactus armor actually i don't know if that's gonna work let's see let's let him hit me again let's let's see how much he's deflecting is it doing like 14 damage a hit it's not bad let me go ahead and heal i really want to see if i can't kill him with the cactus armor the cactus armor in like master mode and for the worthy low key is good because enemies hit you a lot harder in those slowly but surely there we go and boom bada bing there's all the pre-hard mode bosses if you guys want to see a part three where we start taking on the hard mode bosses a lot more weapons to choose from a lot more armors and accessories way more armors and accessories but yeah make sure to get this video to 3,000 likes and that'll show me that you guys want to see the part three we might as well go through all the bosses in vanilla before we try some modded bosses because i feel like putting some modded weapons and armors and bosses on the wheel uh is gonna be pretty Pretty fun. But yeah, 3,000 likes. I'll see y'all in the next video. Shut the hell up. This axe keeps talking. Shut up, Lucy.